Welcome to another video guide about the Grandstream Cloud Management Platform, GWN Cloud. In this video, we'll cover the floor plan tool built into GWN Cloud. We'll explain the features included in this tool and how they can be used to give you a rough estimate of the signal strength and coverage. The floor plan tool allows you to create an approximate representation of the wireless signal strength and coverage within a physical location. This helps determine the placement of the access points and find any possible dead spots. In addition, GWN floor plan can be used to simulate access point placement on a floor plan before purchasing and deploying the access points. This can be achieved with virtual GWN devices as I will show you later in this video. To simulate Wi-Fi signal coverage on a floor plan, log into your GWN Cloud account and go to Map and Floor Plans. Select Floor Plans in the top right corner. This is where you have access to all the floor plans created in your account. Let's go ahead and add a new floor plan. For administration purposes only, enter the building name and the address. Assign a name to the floor plan in case you will be creating multiple floor plans. A sketch or blueprint of the physical location you are heat mapping is required to complete this operation. For this video, we'll be using a blueprint of a commercial mall. To add dimensions to your floor plan, the tool will prompt you to select a single wall and enter the length of it. This will be used as a reference to calculate the dimensions of the entire floor plan. Let's enable full screen mode to have a better view of the floor plan. To help improve the accuracy of the Wi-Fi signal simulation on the floor plan, we need to highlight the main barriers to signal propagation. To do that, click on Paint Wall. The drop-down list includes some built-in barriers with their associated attenuation values. If none of them matches the characteristics or the attenuation values of the actual walls, click on the plus icon and add the desired barrier. For instance, we can add an entry for reinforced concrete walls, which have a higher attenuation value. We choose the color and define the attenuation values. After we add it, we will see it available as an option in the drop-down list. To add the wall types to the floor plan, click on Paint Wall and select the obstacle type. Use the left mouse button to draw lines on the map and the right mouse button to end the line. Each type of wall will be represented by a different color. All the main walls are now represented by the construction material type. This is important because the floor plan tool will take that into consideration when calculating the signal strength and coverage. The next step is to simulate the placement of the access points and the coverage of the wireless signal. To do that, click on Device. Adopted devices include all the Wi-Fi devices that you have added to this network on GWN Cloud. If you need to simulate with additional access points or you do not have any access points in this network, you can select Virtual Devices which lists all the supported GWN access points. This could be helpful when deciding on the GWN model to use. We will use Virtual Devices for our configuration. We will select High Density Access Points for areas that will potentially have more wireless clients such as hallways, restaurants, and rest areas. We'll choose Wi-Fi 6 capable GWN7664, which can handle up to 700 wireless clients. Simply select the device model and drag it onto the floor plan. After you place one or more access points, you can enable heat map to have a visual rough estimate of the signal coverage for both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. In addition, this tool offers the option to define the minimum radio signal strength indicator that will be used for coloring. Essentially, any dBm value that is lower than minus 75 will not be represented by the heat map. To adjust the placement of an access point, click on it and drag it to the desired spot. In a situation where you see the signal coverage exceeds the area that needs to be covered, you can adjust the transmit power to reduce the size of the BSS. To do that, select the access point and click on the gear icon. From here, we can adjust the transmit power for both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. This is important because when you deploy multiple access points in close proximity, you want to minimize the wireless interference. To find out the signal strength in a particular spot, hover over the spot and click the left mouse button. The signal strength will be represented in dBm value. 
For a better view of the floor plan, you can use the visual setting icon to adjust the transparency of the drawing and the size of the access point icons. When the simulation is complete and you are satisfied with the project, click on the export icon to save it in a PNG format. The floor plan results will be helpful when you decide on the number of access points needed and their optimal placement. This concludes today's video guide about the GWN floor plan tool. Thank you for watching it.